Okay, so here I just wanted to kind of go over um, looking at these camshafts here. I'm just getting set up. <clears throat> I'm not going to go over every little thing about engine stuff. And this is a high performance build. It's not a stock build, so it's not using stock parts. But one thing I just want to touch on is just showing a little bit of differences on camshafts. So it's, people have the most confusion with it. Big thing is these two on the left are hydraulic rollers, which is a more modern camshaft. Uh, this is an old style flat tappet that's all rusty here I keep around. And I just want to point out some of the differences. On a cam you've got lift and you've got duration. And really those two things are key besides your lobe center line and um, your lobe separation and uh, a couple other things. But the most important two top things are lift and duration. So when you're looking at that <clears throat> This is just an old flat tappet style, and if you look at this lobe right here, it's kind of shaped like an arrowhead, oblong like that, and then pointed. That's how all the flat tappets are, solid and hydraulic. It comes up real quick and then goes down real quick. The uh, uh, way that the roller, the lifter, is uh, spends time on that, sorry, the lifter, this would be a regular lifter, doesn't have a whole lot of time. Then you look at the hydraulic one here, and you look at this lobe, and these two lobes here, they're like uh, kind of egg shaped. And <clears throat> that's how you know that it's a hydraulic roller looking at these lobes. They come up and then they taper into a very large arc. That's where we have the lift and duration differences. Um, this one here is just a little bit smaller than this one. But even the smallest amounts on a hydraulic roller are pretty dramatic when you look at the cam physically. Um, numbers seem kind of small when you talk about you know, five to ten in differences of uh, degrees or even with lift when you're looking at thirty or forty thousandths. Um, this one here is like, a, I want to say a 540 lift and the duration is like um, two, I think 238. And if you look at the two and you try to compare these, this one here has got like a very long path to go for the duration it's like going over this lobe is going to take some time and that's like a longer duration when you look at this other one here next to it that's smaller it's almost as wide it's just a smidge less um this lift here is about 565 i think and if we were to put these together you could you could actually physically notice this lobe comes out a little bit further than this one um, but the bigger thing is just seeing that the width is more uh, the travel. So apart from that, um, that's really what makes up the big difference with this uh, solid flat tap and hydraulic flat tap versus the hydraulic uh, hydraulic roller. Uh, the roller follower here is different. Now, one of the other thing I wanted to point out is <clears throat> both of these camshafts uh, previous owner had. If you don't use a bronze tipped push rod for a mechanical fuel pump you will wipe out the actual uh, lobe for the fuel pump rod. Both, both these are galled here, but this one here is totally destroyed where someone, he just used uh, the regular one. <clears throat> so just kind of looking at the differences here and be sure to use a bronze tip push rod when you have one of these cams because uh, you, can't, you can use a regular uh, push rod when you have a hydraulic flat tap, but that same one can't be used with this because the iron on iron type type thing and the steel rubbing together uh, it'll just wear one down there's more pressure going on this from the rod and the actual lever and the mechanical fuel pump now if you have that happen doesn't mean your camshaft's gone it just means that you need to actually consider you have to use electronic fuel pump uh, some kind of electric fuel to get to the car you won't be able to salvage this mechanically Anyway, just taking a couple of minutes kind of going over this cam differences and what's what and how to make a little bit of sense of that.